Hello everyone, welcome back to Winders Model Farms. I got this grain card in the mail today. I um, found it on eBay. It was in an auction last week. I ended up bidding more than I thought I was going to and won the auction. So I'm glad I got it. Glad I paid what I did for it because I've not seen these anywhere in a really long time for for anything as low as what I paid. It wasn't necessarily cheap, but for what it is, I feel like I got a good deal. If you've never seen one of these before, it is the Kinsey 1050 grain carts. I feel like these toys were made somewhere around 2010, 2011, 2012, and that ballpark, but I could be way off. I cannot remember. But anyways, I've never had one, and Every now and then I'll look for them, and most of the time you can't even find any on eBay. I saw this one and started bidding on it, and here it is. So, um, let's start off with, I guess, just hitch style. It's kind of got the older hitch. This was made by Speccast, I believe, um, but Speccast kind of changed up their hitches now. It's got a little jack under there. It doesn't raise or lower, but it does sit on the jack quite nicely when it is not hooked up to anything. It hooks up to most Ertl tractors and Speccast tractors fairly easily, and you can turn the tractor pretty well. Um, some of the J&Ms and the newer Kinsey carts don't do that as well. Um, this one is the Road Crop Dual version. They also have a track version and one on floaters. At some point, I would like to add those other two to our collection but realistically that may never happen it's got really good tires and rims like nice cream colored really good detail the blue hubs painted even got some blue painted on the rim there uh, I really like the tires they're kind of like a they're kind of hard but at the same time they've got a little bit of give to them real rubbery Got a really good tread pattern on them. Uh, not a whole lot of detail underneath here. I mean, there's this for your duels. That is, I guess at the time, that was um, probably the first green cart they put that under. Now they put them under like the 1300 and the um, 1305 on the toys. I'm not talking about real ones because they probably had them on real ones before that, but the toys didn't replicate that. Uh, if you do look up in here on the actual side of the cart, um, if it'll focus, there you go. You get a lot of rivet detail. Pretty good detail built into the casting. Um, honestly, you know, probably at the time when these came out, probably the best detailed grain carts that was out on the market. A really good 1050 decal with that stripe and it says row crop which would be these the dual version of this cart see you got a little decal down here on the underside of the auger got harvest commander kinsey decal real good stripe good reflecting stripes all across the side real good reflectors on the back Look at our lights, all these little lights, that Kinsey decal right there, which they kind of started putting on those newest 1051 carts. They put that little guy back on there. There's your triangle right there, your warning triangle. Good detail with the bottom auger here, like where it would mount up on the back. And on, even on this undercarriage, you see the bolt detail there. Um... Now this side's just a reverse. And on the front, I guess I didn't mention on the back, good window right there. Front as well, another nice window. Now I don't know if something, like I said, I bought this used, so it looks like something was super glued here. I don't know if this cart is missing something, or if that's just where somebody added something extra at one time and then took it back off. Not really sure, not too worried about it. Um, 
Kinsey guy hanging out down there. And this is what's probably the coolest part to me, is just look at all these warning decals. So you've got them there. Got a couple of them on the front there. A couple of them on the, four of them over here on the auger. And I'm sure if you had a magnifying glass, you could probably read them. Whoop. But I can't really read them. But they probably have words actually on them. And then if we get to the back side over here. You can see like a hydraulic cylinder in there for your auger. It's kind of a textured piece right there on the front. So that's nice detail. Uh, you'd see where your PTO would go in. There is no PTO shaft, but you'd see where it'd go in. See the auger flighting there and here. And then those fit together when they go together. <clears throat> the end piece here is real nice, detailed for your unload spout. And then here's the interior. You've got your mesh across the floor so you could get in there. Um, I'm not going to get on the auger and you can kind of see your fenders through there but that's pretty much it for that i was just going to show you kind of a comparison to the 1300 cart um size wise it is a little smaller than the 1300 not quite as large them side by side there kind of see not a whole lot smaller but I mean, I guess it is probably a couple hundred bushels smaller. 1305, it's pretty much the same car as 1300. But you can see this kind of can adds to my collection. I love the row crop dual ones. Um, my brothers have the other two variations of the 1300. This is the only 1305 cart we have in our collections. But, um, Here's kind of a look, size comparison to the new Kinsey 1051. You know, it's a little shorter of a cart, but it is um, a two auger cart instead of a single auger, so it does have a little more capacity and being able to have more depth instead of having to come down to a skinny point. So anyways, that's that. I just thought this was a really cool grain cart. Um, if anybody has one they want to sell, another one, made with tracks or flotation tires, let me know. I would be interested in buying one. But thanks for watching. Have a good day.